it so happened, you know, for our wedding day that our, our celebrant, he forgot to bring the vows, so the night before our wedding, Jack and I got the phone call and the message saying, oh, can you write up your own vows? And um, in my ignorance of what I was getting myself into, I, I wrote some up that consisted basically of, oh, I love you, baby, you know, you're, you're, you know, you're awesome. And uh, de de declaring my love for her. So, so far short of what they should be. But I had no idea. Uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to be vowing. I've kind of been to a couple of marriages before, you know. Uh, what is it, through thick and thin and tough and bad or something like that. And the good and the bad and, you know, um, you know, I'll stay with you. And, you know, uh, you know I'll just, uh, the, the different vows that can um, uh, be made that people kind of copy from Google or, you know, the internet or something. And, oh, that sounds beautiful. Yeah, that's, that's good. You know, that'll touch people's hearts out in the, you know, uh, watching this as well. Um, but it's, it's like, again, people just expect you to know what to do and say sometimes. It's like, well, come on, where you been? It's like, well, hang on, I didn't, I didn't get taught this stuff. I wasn't taught or trained and what the heck, you know? Not even what to expect in a marriage. No. Nah. It's like, I saw my mum and dad's marriage, so I'm just supposed to base it on that. But it's still, I don't, I don't, I'm not seeing the ins and outs of marriage. I'm just seeing kind of the surface stuff of how they treat each other and, you know, and different things. But I don't get to see what they do in the bedroom or I don't, you know, praise God. You know, or, but, you know, but stuff you got to know. It's like what to expect in a marriage. You know, yes, sex is going to be involved. Well, how do you have that? You know, but see, a lot of the world is, well, go try it. So, no, because now I'm sleeping around with other people's potential spouses, you know, wives. And, and then I'm going to marry someone that's been... You know, it's just like, no, nah, that's not the way God intended it to be. Yeah. Yeah. It's meant to be pure and, and you know, um, clean and, and right. And there's a, way, a right way to do that. Um, and you, you don't need training in that sense. You've just got to know what's right and what's wrong. Um, and a lot of times it's just what's wrong. Just tell them what's wrong and then everything is else is okay. And the Bible does talk about that, but that's another message. But it's like that people just expect you to know what to do and say. It's like we're just going to figure it out on our own. Yeah. What I think is that those very people are lazy. They shirk their responsibilities. Or are ignorant themselves in training up, teaching, or educating those under them. I think, it is a wise, I think it's wiser to assume you haven't a clue and to teach them. I think it's smarter to think people just don't know. I mean, we find that, we're finding that in ministry. You know, with disciples, it's like, what? You know, it's like, you kind of think, didn't you know better? You know, that's just not what we do. That's not how we roll. That's not what the Bible says. And, and that, oh, you know, like, okay. Either they're lying and playing dumb. But, oh, really? I didn't know, you know. Or they really didn't know. And um, so that's why, I mean, our job as ministers is so much education, teaching what the Word of God says over and over and over and over and over again till we can, now, nah, you knew better. I've taught you that a hundred times you knew better. Don't you lie to me and you know, play dummy. Um, it's like, no, nah, you're being naughty. Um, but until then, expect people just have no idea. I think that's the wisest way. Don't you agree? I think that's the wisest way to play. Uh, I think it's actually scriptural to do so. That's what the Bible says. Teach and train our children where they should go. I also think a lot of hurt, confusion, uh, trouble, wasted time could be avoided if we took the time to educate people, and that's the reason for this message. Awesome. So coming back to my pathetic version of vows, <coughs> um, <laughs> I had somebody who gave me some helpful tips on getting it to a standard where it was minimum, you know, like, you know, it's okay. And, um, yeah, but I mean, I, I just had no idea. And I, I want people to have an idea now. Uh, I had somebody give me some helpful tips on getting my vows to a standard that would pass off for something at least closer to what vows should be. Not that it mattered anyway, because I, I broke it. <laughs> I broke them all. And, um, and that's not to my credit at all. Um, but praise God that the reason why I'm standing here today, 20 years married with the same wife, is because of the Word of God. Yeah. Um, mm. That my wife followed Scripture and was quick to forgive. Um, you know, I thought the best of me, even though it should have been the worst of me. Um, uh, that's what happens when you give your life over to pornography. Um, you know, you, you will destroy your marriage and you'll destroy your relationships. Yeah. And um, and that's what I was doing. I loved the porn more than I loved her, obviously, because I kept going back to it. Uh, but then it got to a point where, you know what, this sucks. <laughs> and uh, and I, I want my marriage. And so I dealt with pornography. Praise God. 
through the Word of God and through um, the power of His Holy Spirit. I have overcome pornography, overcome lust, and I no, no longer given over to it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so praise God for His Word. So you want to know why I broke them? And so quickly, I might add, it didn't take long. The vows didn't mean anything to me. They were a formality that was part of a very long ceremony, <laughs> uh, which had a lot of food to get to, you know, get through, uh, to a place where I could finally have sex with someone. Again, just my understanding and uh, our knowledge of marriage was just so shot. It just, well, it just wasn't there. Um, but now I do know, and now that I do know, I want to educate people. So as you can see, I did not have any understanding or idea of what I was getting into. Marriage equaled sex. Woo -hoo, I was wrong. It's not. The responsibilities of marriage, of taking someone precious, a beautiful daughter of Almighty God, under my wings, that I'm here to love and serve her, and she owns my body, my time, my money, that my life belongs to her, to cherish and nourish her as Christ does, uh, uh, or does me, goes a lot deeper than just having sex. It goes a lot deeper than just a feeling or an emotion. Yeah? yeah? Yeah. It's so much deeper. And remember, that's how my spice, uh, spouse, spice, <laughs> yeah, she is spicy, but uh, that's how my <laughs> wife is, treats me also. The same way. Her body, her time, her money, Jesus. her life belongs to me. We belong to one another because we are one. The wife is commanded to reverence her husband, to serve him, to be a help meek to him, to respect him, that he owns her body, her time, and money, that her life belongs to him. For him to lead the household according to God's will and purpose. So as we come back to God's way in things, that's when marriages are going to work. Yeah. And not just work where you're enduring your marriage, but where you enjoy it. I'm 20 years married and I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's gone way beyond what I even thought or imagined back as a young man getting married. I mean, even, even the sexual side of things. Um, but marriage is, is so much deeper, like the relationship that we have has got, it's so deep now, it's like, I can't leave her, if that makes sense, um, and I know she can't leave me, um, you know, she said to me, if you left me, I'll still love you, I can't help it, I just love you, and I'm like, well babe, that ain't going to happen, but hey, praise God, I like what you said, um, yeah, but it, it does, it, and you can get to that, you can get to that, but it's just going to take a bit of work, 